Good day everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, we will talk about a brief history of FreeBSD. Before we start, I would like to say thank you so much to all my viewers, silent viewers, and supporters in my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. If you are new with my channel and then you like this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to share. Please support my channel guys by clicking the subscribe button. So let's begin. FreeBSD is one of the most uh, popular open source operating system that is quite similar to Unix operating system. So in this video, we will talk about its uh, history. So we have here the courtesy of wikipedia.org background. In 1974, Professor Bob Fabry of the University of California, Berkeley acquired a Unix source license from AT&T. Supported by funding from DARPA, the Computer Systems Research Group started to modify and improve AT&T Research Unix. They called this modified version Berkeley Unix or Berkeley Software Distribution or BSD. Implementing features such as TCP IP virtual memory in the Berkeley Fast File System. The BSD project was found, founded in 1976 by Bill Joy. But since BSD contained code from AT&T Unix, all recipients had to get first get license from AT&T in order to use BSD. In 1989, Networking Release 1, or simply Net1, the first public version of BSD was released. After releasing the Net1, Kate Bostek, a developer of BSD, suggested replacing all AT&T code with freely redistributable code under the original BSD license. Working on replacing AT&T code began and after 18 months, much of the AT&T code was replaced. However, six files containing AT&T code remain in the kernel. The BSD developers decided to, to release the networking release to Net2 without those six files. Net2 was released in 1991. birth of FreeBSD. In 1992, several months after the release of Netto, William and Lynn Jolitz wrote replacements for the 6 AT&T files ported BSD to Intel 0386 based microprocessors and called their new operating system 386 BSD. They released 386 BSD via anonymous FTP server. The development flow of 386BSD was slow and after a period of neglect, a group of 386BSD users decided to branch out on their own so that they, co they could keep the operating system up to date. On 19 of June 1993, the name FreeBSD was chosen for the project. The first version of FreeBSD was released in November 1993. In the early days of the project's inception, a company named Walnut Creek Siderum, upon the suggestion of the two previous developers, agreed to release the operating system on Siderum. In addition to that, the company employed Jordan Hubbard and David Greenman ran FreeBSD on its server, sponsored FreeBSD conferences, and published FreeBSD-related books, including the complete FreeBSD by Greg Leahy. By 1987, FreeBSD was a Walnut's most successful product. The company later named it to FreeBSD Mail and later X Systems. Today, FreeBSD is used by many IT companies such as IBM, Nokia, Juniper Networks, and NetApp to build their products. Certain parts of the Apple Mac OS operating system are based on FreeBSD. On the PlayStation 3 and Nintendo Switch operating system also borrow certain components of free from FreeBSD. While the PlayStation 4 operating system is derived from FreeBSD 9, Netflix, WhatsApp, and Flight Aware are also examples of large successful and heavily network oriented companies which running FreeBSD. Okay guys, so this is the end of a brief history no, of FreeBSD operating system. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and please support my channel guys if you are new by clicking the subscribe button. See you in the next video tutorial guys. This is your friend Jake saying bye bye for now.